Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. As long as we fail to have been rooted and have been grounded in love of truth, or in the holiness of truth, to reflect the great righteousness of God. Till then, we will be not able to comprehend with all saints what is the plateaus, makers, bathos, and hoopsaws. The plateaus, the breath, the spiritual mechanics where it has been calling for the spiritual life. The spiritual mechanics of this unique spiritual life, our spiritual self-esteem, our spiritual autonomy, and then getting back into spiritual maturity the length about the spiritual objective in life, wherewith we do have to attain the maximum glorification for Christ. The spiritual length, which has been required for two power options and three spiritual skills, which is so much essential for us to note. The depth, which is nothing but the scroll blessings for time as well as for eternity. The scroll blessings for time, which includes desire for truth, love for God, an incredible stability, strength of character, having perseveration, motivation, momentum, to reach unto the attainment of the holiness of Christ. And furthermore, the last one which has been called the height. The height wherewith our Lord has chosen is nothing but the naon that we are the believers naon indwelling. The height which has been indwelling in the heavenlies has to be now indwelt in us to the praise of his glory. And that indwelling of naon is never possible for us until and unless we really believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Several doubts, several questions asked by the disciples, our Lord telling for them, verily, verily, they should have known and understood. When our Lord was having a great discourse from John chapter 13 to 27, they couldn't perceive, they were thinking that which could be worth for them. Only those things which they can understand. But our Lord was telling to them about the church age, the church Church age passage, which has been so much essential for us to note, is of a great importance that you and I should learn. This church age passage, where it, our Lord emphasizes upon doctrine, the church age passage, which where it has been told for us, it has been going to enlighten us in the teaching ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in John 14 26. Then too, we are not able to learn. And why the teaching of the Holy Spirit has been required for us? Because it is becoming a naon, a temple, a temple of the living Lord, only as we grow up in daily intake of Bible doctrine. But we, the men, are not able to understand the simple truth. Rather, indulge ourselves in useless and worthless speculations and think the length, the height, the breadth, the depth can, can never be explained by the men who do not know the importance of the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in their lives and what it has to be to be a spiritual man in Christ. Therefore, dear brethren, think over these issues. The platos, the the bathos, including the makos and hope sauce. And if these things are not been understood, we shall still continue to enlarge and enlighten so that the Christian life wherewith it has to be may be comprehended. So that when you can comprehend is depending upon a clause. A clause is that you need to be rooted and grounded in the holiness of the truth in love for the truth. If you don't have that love for the truth, you do not know what it is to comprehend with all saints, the length, the breadth, the height, and the depth, the platos, the bathos, the makos, and the hoopsos. And if you are not able to understand this, let God get the Holy Spirit enlightened more and more as we continue in this subject from the next day. Father, we are thankful for the privilege of us giving the fellowship with the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and let us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.